What's going on, Soul Nation? Ginger Prime here, and if you're still having problems with the Windows 10 Store Edition, let me be just the voice to say I'm sorry. Like, uh, I've been reading y'all's comments, some people have been having issues, some people have been able to play. Uh, the patch for the June 10th seemed to solve some of the server lag issues, and overall, if you're able to play, the game is definitely in a much better state. However, there is a big, big 10 hundred pound gorilla, and that's the Windows 10 Store. You might not have seen some guides, so I'll try to link to them in the description of this video, kind of helping to uninstall, reinstall, uh, different things like that. And for the most part, uh, you know, they've been very successful. And I'm like, very happy at the end of the day that I've been able to help people kind of get this stuff going. So I'm not going to rehash that here. But what I am going to cover here uh, briefly before we get into your comments is what was posted over on PSO2.com. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Uh, below for you guys basically giving you some troubleshooting tips and tricks as well as a comprehensive what they say comprehensive fix for the windows store apps etc which when you look at this it's very jarring it's very ridiculous it's you know it's basic troubleshooting steps like hey try restarting or repairing and removing the program so we covered pretty much how to do that in um in those guides so again i'll just check that video out because i'm not going to dive too much into that here but if you want to just read along and follow along the steps um, outside of this video, please feel free to do so. So, I mean, when you talk about try restarting the device, um, you know, try w, running WS reset. Yeah, honestly, when I looked at this uh, kind of this thing, I was like, holy crap, like I nailed it. I nailed it a couple of weeks ago. And it's unfortunate that weeks later that this is what's being you know brought out by the PSO team. Now, I'm not here to hate. I don't think uh, that's not um, what we should be doing. You know, they honestly, the best thing I think we can do as a community is continue to provide, you know, constructive, you know, criticism and feedback to the, to, to them. And that's actually kind of what they're asking for. So if you're still having problems, please hit the support.xbox.com slash contact us. That way you can also use the windows, uh, you know, kind of F key to be able to bring up the feedback app, uh, to be able to kind of say, Hey, this is what's going on. Uh, this is going to give them a lot more data about what's going on with your specific situation. That's the problem with obviously PC gaming. Uh, when you look at that over a console and so ultimately like there could be something on your system, your antivirus could be blocking it. I've seen people uh, make sure that they've added permissions in with their antivirus software to allow windows store updates and more. Otherwise it can get blocked. And I've seen this happen on quite a few uh, computers from time to time. Anyhow, <laughs> um, it's just, it's unfortunate. And the final note here is kind of what I wrote, why I wanted to make this video and then kind of dive into your comments. Our development team is still working hard to address the issues on the Windows 10 version of Fantasy Star Online 2, and we deeply apologize for the inconvenience this may have caused, and we appreciate the support and your patience. It's really unfortunate, and there's nothing I can sit here and say, especially if you're on the uh, the side that you can't play this game, because while I did have issues, and thankfully was able to kind of troubleshoot my way uh, supporting it, uh, I, I know that the tweaker works and I know that just posting this video, people, you know, I'm going to see hundreds of comments talking about just use the tweaker. Tweaker works for a percentage of people, but I've also seen in comments that the tweaker doesn't work for them. Uh, and there could be different reasons for that. Like uh, PC gaming for as powerful and as freeing as it can be, can obviously bring in challenges. This isn't to excuse the, uh, the, the state of the Windows 10 version of the game. I'm not uh, trying to sit here and say that, you know, we just have to wait and be patient. But what I'm saying is that in solidarity, I my heart goes out to you if you can't play this game, especially because you've waited for eight years for this. And it just is unfortunate. Like, it could have been handled so much better. I wish we were sitting here, you know, all this time later, celebrating together that we were finally able to play this game together. So for me, I mean, what, what does this really mean? Um, because obviously, like, I can't go work and fix this problem they, unless they want to hire me. Um, they know how to reach me, I guess. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is that I think as a community that our, you know, tenacity, our communication still needs to be saying, hey, to bring this to PS4, uh, bring this to Switch, you know, and I've, I've been a long proponent of like xCloud coming to, to Switch and even PlayStation for that matter. Uh, if that ends up being that solution, quote unquote, however, at the end of the day, like, uh, you know, bring this to Steam, like hopefully we can see more and more. Uh, you know, ways that people can go and play this game the way they want to play it. When we look at the Windows Store, how it's structured, just the simple fact that there's a new store coming out, uh, the Mercury Project or whatever, uh, hopefully that's something that's fixing it. Uh, what's also fascinating is like within just Windows itself, <laughs> um, 
it's like, yeah, they have the Xbox app, and this is right now in beta. It's taking a little longer to load than I was expecting when I clicked on it. And over here, yeah, I've got my gears. I got Final Fantasy IX. I was like, why isn't PSO2 in just this store? Uh, and I think that, you know, who knows? There, we could sit here and speculate all day about why things are the way they are. Um, but we're here, and we're going to have to move forward and, and move on with that and try to do our best. And so continue to try to support each other. If you can, if you can use the tweaker, that's probably going to be your best bet. Uh, for your solution going forward. Uh, Lockie here says, uh, should just commission the Tweaker team to make it an official app. The current dev programmers at MS and Sega is just ridiculous. I do totally support that. I think that would be really cool to see. Um, you know, like, yeah, crowdsource it. Let's just go. <laughs> um, Pergasus here says, I'm really disappointed in this. Previously, the game uninstalled itself four times. And after the last week, I decided to wait until this week to see if this patch would resolve itself. Based on the comments from Reddit, it appears to be inconsistent. Going to try my luck with the tweaker. Unbelievable, they had all this time to figure it out and still cannot get it right. Uh, the few times that I was able to play, I really enjoyed it, but the fact that there are so many issues. Yeah. Uh, at some point, like, you're just going to have to tap out. If every time the game you want to launch it, you uh, you have to just tap out. It's, it's just ridiculous. I would say that this to you. If you click the app and it doesn't load, like, there are things that it just... For me, I clicked it and it didn't come up and I just I just I just walked away from the computer. I was like, there's something in the background doing something. So I walked away. It ended up coming back and it ended up loading after a restart, but I didn't press my luck. Thankfully, I'm you know, it feels like there is this gremlin that's running around in the background that at any point in time it can cause issues. And that's that's really unfortunate for the game. Thankfully, in my case, I do have an Xbox and I don't want to sit here and tell you. If you're having problems, just to go purchase an Xbox. I, I, I can't justify a purchase of a console just for one game. Um, and hopefully what we'll see, though, is that, you know, this game comes to xCloud. xCloud just is everywhere. And then, you know, if you can stream it, you can just end up streaming the game ultimately. But we don't have dates on those as well. That's This game has been a eight-year journey of the ultimate wait and see. And that's just too unfortunate. <laughs> to, I mean, I don't know. I don't have words on that one. Uh, SDA, uh, SDD or SXD can't read. Uh, I can't even, uh, install it on PC in the windows store. Every time I click the install, nothing happens. I'd recommend running WS reset in that case. Like it sounds like that's a issue with your windows, uh, you know, version or your, or your windows store, or, uh, I don't know the windows store <laughs> gremlins have found you and, and are torturing you. Um, Subflow, though, says, seems solid to me right now. Installed, uninstalled, reinstalled, played, rebooted, replayed, uh, still up and running via the Windows Store. Uh, I'm really happy for you, Sub. Um, that's the thing is that for some people, it works. Some people, it doesn't. And that's why I think using that Windows F, making sure you're putting that feedback in to them. That way they can hopefully get some of the, maybe maybe it's some driver thing. There, there's so there's so many complexities when it comes to the, the computer, so many different variables that it, it helps to kind of help whittle that down. So giving them more data is not hurting them or slowing them down. It allows them to analyze, try to find some patterns in what's going on. Um, Zap says, thanks for the update. I've been hesitating downloading the game since I'm one of the persons who tries to download PSO2 NA since the day of release. And uh, yeah, Shade says, use the tweaker. Uh, I agree with Shades. If you guys can use the tweaker, if you're if you're nervous about Windows Store, go with it. Uh, I, we probably, I don't know if we'll see... Um, <laughs> Scraggs says, I think I'll stick with the tweaker for now. Uh, and then uh, we must secure a better tomorrow. Great name. I don't think I'll ever get rid of the tweaker. And then uh, Zed says, okay, so the update, it won't let me enter the ship. Something about the server not matching up. Someone, anyone else get this? Okay, he had to hit the update button again. And this time connected it to, to Sega and update the game itself. And it's all good. So there might be some some little issues that's kind of was my concern with the tweaker like how quickly are they able to turn it around especially if they make a kind of change that blocks it but ultimately we'll have to wait and see uh drunk here or dunk says i downloaded the game yesterday in the afternoon and after seven hours of downloading it at the end it popped up an error screen 104 and i can't launch it because i'm missing some file the thing is that the game installs in some kind of system 32 folder that you cannot delete or uninstall and it's easily after that you change the permission of the files in the Windows app folder to secure, but it now deleted because the control panel does not appear to list and you cannot uninstall it from the main menu of the Microsoft Store. So I'm done with this game. PD, sorry for my ba bad English. <laughs> sorry for my bad English. Don't worry about it. Um, I, I would tell you, like, that's uh, the, what the guy I, I addressed that I posted, you know, two weeks ago. 
helps address where it's like, hey, here's these files and it's bad and it's corrupted and it, you can't find the file and it's that file is specific. There's so many freaking hurdles that it just frustrates me um, to sit here and, and I wish, <laughs> um, you know, and, and, and this is where we're going to get with with Gerald. Fixed, Gerald answer no, it broke mine today at one. Updating, I'm done here. Uh, never mind, Tweaker fixed it and I want to play. I don't try the Windows Store. So it looks like Gerald was able to get played. But you can see here the frustration, obviously, before his edit. You know, like this in and of itself, it's like, you know, if, if you're getting to this level frustrated, like I would recommend, you know, maybe coming back and checking on the game in um, in July. And, and it sucks. Like I'm sitting here saying that and then that's not fair to you. You know, you shouldn't have to deal with that. But here we are. And that in and of itself is just, yeah, I think just a deep freaking sigh makes the most sense. Uh, and does it still download 130 gigabytes of uses data in the hidden with that folder? Yep, it's a, it's a Windows Store pain, uh, that's for sure. And then for Rela, two days ago my game deleted itself. For whatever reason it happened, the Windows update, I'm not sure what it was related, but yeah, I'm using the tweaker now. The patch process is brutal. Ah, uh, yeah. Um. I, I wish this was, <laughs> I wish this was a happy video. I, I, mm, there's a weird, like, desire for solidarity in a way. I, you know, in a way, mentally, I'm like, man, I wish I was going through the same thing so I could, I could have a little bit more empathy because there is this side of me that is joyful that I am playing this game, that I am loving it. We're playing the other day on stream, had a really good time, was able, you know, making good progress on Ranger. Uh, Going to keep playing this game because um, that's, it's what I like. <laughs> and um, and then at the same time, here I am. And then knowing that people are, are having a problem and trying to find ways, creative ways to help them. And um, I think uh, obviously, again, check out those guides if you're if you're struggling, but obviously check out the tweaker. And if that's not working for you um, and there's another game like on an Xbox that you want to try, maybe that's the right way to go about it. But I, like I said in my video regarding the PS4 and the Switch, uh, you know, I think at this point, like we need to continue to commission that they uh, bring the, the game to other platforms. And like they said in the post, they're going to keep working on this game and try to continue to to fix whatever this Windows Store issues, um, what these issues are ultimately. So um, my heart goes out. Thanks, guys, for the comments. Um, I'm wishing you guys the best of luck. Continue to try to help the, as a community to troubleshoot and get these issues fixed. And um you know what? And again, if I, I totally can understand for those who are like, yep, that was it. You know, it, there's plenty of other games out there. You, you know, thankfully, we don't live in a world with only three channels and one of them is broken. You know, we live in a world where there's plenty of other great games to play. So if you're playing something else, let me know what you're playing, what you're excited about uh, coming up, you know, in this year for 2020. I'd love to hear from you and have maybe a fun conversation about that. But with that, I'm going to just wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have probably an epic day. We've got PS5 news today, and hopefully we'll see some. Um, for me, I'm looking forward to hopefully the future of Final Fantasy. Who knows if we're going to see something like that today, but we'll wait and see. If we do, you can check out my probably crying reaction over on work to game But anyway, I love you guys. I love your faces. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this video is sponsored by me. If you guys like uh, podcasts and long form content, I hope you check out Ginger Gaming Radio. Link will be in the description of this video below. So if you're still watching this video, thank you and check out the new channel for more content and hopefully you enjoy. Thank you.